Hello everyone, welcome back to the course and today we'll be adding Tailwind CSS into our React Native application. We'll be using a third party library Native Wind that uses Tailwind CSS to start React Native. Go to the export app and we need to install this library called Native Wind. Open the terminal and just type npm install Native Wind. We also need to install Tailwind CSS so just copy this and install Tailwind CSS as well. Now we need to add Tailwind configuration into our project. For that, we'll be using this command. Here is the command npx tailwind in it. This will create a tailwind configuration file into our project. Just open the terminal and copy paste this command. And it has created a tailwind configuration file. We need to change the contents of this file so that we can use the tailwind classes into our project. These are all the directories that will use Tailwind CSS classes, so make sure that you enlist all the directories in which you will be using Tailwind CSS classes. So just copy this directory path and we need to change it to our directories like uh, we have a directory screens. And we will be adding one more directory components because we have a components folder. Okay, so after that we need to move to the next step which is adding the Babel configuration. So just copy the plugins and open the Babel configuration file and paste the plugins here. After you change the Babel configuration, you need to restart your project so that all the changes can be applied. And that's it. We have integrated Tailwind JSS into our project. Now it's time to test it. So just add a class name. Let's make this text red. It changed to red that means our implementation is successfully working now let me just make it a little bigger okay so that's how you can use Tailwind CSS classes into your application now you can remove these styles and you can start using the Tailwind classes to design your application see you in the next video